KiCad has become one of my favorite design automation tools in the recent years. Previously in part zero, I covered why, including the ease of use and constant improvement. I also covered how to install the program in the first place, and you'll know you're ready for this video when you can launch the application. You can use the system to design some pretty amazing designs, but before we go that far, I'd like to change the default theme, and we're going to do that using the plugin manager. Now, just as kind of a reminder of how this works, the even numbered videos are going to contain need to know information, and the odd numbered videos like this one are going to contain nice to know information. This is a odd numbered chapter, so you can consider everything in today's exercise optional. You will need your internet connection back if you want to install the plugin, so make sure you're secure and then launch the application. In the main application and the main menu, you're going to need to look for a icon, and the title is Plugin and Content Manager. Select it, and inside the Plugin and Content Manager window, click on the Color Themes tab, and that's where you're going to find your options. Today I'm going to install the Solarized Dark Theme, and we can see from the information on the right hand side, this is a independent project, it has its own GitHub page, and its own website. Click to install before you exit, otherwise nothing will happen. If you don't see any errors and the theme now shows a uninstall button, then you're probably good to go. This one came from the default repository, and if you need to add a additional one, you can add them using the manage button. So right now the theme is installed, but it's not being enforced on my local system. To activate, close down the plugin manager, go back into the main menu, and at the top of the screen navigate to preferences, preferences again, schematic editor, color, and then set the theme to solarize dark. Apply the change at the bottom of the window, and you should see it take effect. Now, there is one final warning about this. If you were to print right now, exactly what would you get? You could get a sheet of paper that looks like the default theme, which isn't too bad, but if you're misconfigured, your page could be completely dark. You're going to see that in the print dialog, KiCad is configured to print according to a specific theme. Make sure that print background color is not checked, make sure different color theme for printing is checked, and then set the theme to KiCad Classic or Default. And at this point you're pretty much done. My recommendation is to always do a preview first, but let me know what you think of this alternate theme. 